day. So this video is intended for our plate number four. So let us start. So plate number four, plate number four. So the same procedure. We we'll open our folder. Then you open the destination folder. So this technique uh, avoids us from repeating the title blocks or the text. Okay, so we just copy the existing file which is number 3. Then paste it. And then don't forget to rename the file. So you'll remove the copy word. And then edit number 3 to 4. And then open the file. Okay. So this is week number 3. So what we're going to do here is to edit the date by double clicking the text. And then we change the date. For example today. The day today is January 12. And then, what we're going to do now is to, so let us first check the design. Okay, so this is the design. What we are going to do here is to remove the existing designs inside. You may use here the process selection. And then you erase the remaining lines. So same here, process selection. So as, it will just select the intended lines that should be deleted then same procedure here delete all unnecessary lines okay so we have four half circles here this is the center and then this will be the radius okay let's go back to our autocad application okay so here Again, let us check the sign. It's the overlap. And then we we'll use in the trim. This time we we'll use the process selection. Okay. So this will be the overlap. So the same procedure with our first date regarding uh, the basket design. Okay. So that's it. So this the overlap sha. Ito nag under the over on the dito and then nag under. Okay. Next is creating no? Tulad na nandito Half circle And then this is the center This will be the radius So type C And then situate your perpendicular In the OS map is activated Okay, so kung hindi activated dyan We'll just right click the OS map And then situate Na naka-activate ang inyong perpendicular. So, naka-check dapat dyan. Okay? So, just click this one and then para ma-activate sya. Okay? Next, trim. And then, offset by 5. So, we will repeat the same procedure. So, for this one, I'll just use the mirror command. And then, pag sa taas, we will repeat the same procedure. Then we will trim, create the half circle, offset, five. Okay. Then I just use the mirror command for me to create a mirror image of the first side. So as you can see, di kita dikit yan, ha? Hindi super yan. Next is para natin gagawin yung basket dito. So dito magikita natin na overlap siya. Sabi sabi magander siya dito. So, alternating design siya, no? So, again, we'll use the uh, command trim. Enter. So, since nag-over siya dito, so, dapat dito, mag-enter siya. So, we'll delete this one. Okay? So, the same here. Nag-tap siya dito. So, under siya dito. Okay? And so on. So, Pare-paro lang yung design dyan. Ayan. Then, here. So if you commit mistakes here, just undo and then do the escape. No? Then 
it will be over okay so that's it for our first design so we'll now proceed with the second design for our second design so first step we creating a half circle and then this one okay then trim then offset by 5 millimeters then use the mirror command then type C again and then trim and then we'll use the offset then we can make use of the command mirror here okay and then what you're going to do for us to close the corners is the use of command let okay so the same procedure here Then next is creating a circle inside. So again, the radius of the circle is 25. So type C. And then you point at the center here. And then while you have in the circle, you type the R for radius. And then after typing radius, you type 25. Okay. And then you offset it by 5 millimeters. Next is trim. So for trim, we just make use of the process selection, enter. So this will be over. You just trim the specified lines which needs to be deleted or trim. Okay. Next, so here is over. It should be under here so I'll delete this one then this is under so this is going to be an overlap design let's delete this one and then for this one under so it will, this one will be overlap next is this one is underlap so this is going to be an overlap design then erase and set up okay so that's it for our second design we'll now proceed with our third design for our plate number four for our design number four so it will look like this again the radius of the circle here if you are going to measure it with the use of your ruler this is 30 okay so the diameter is 60 the radius is 30 okay and then it consists of one fourth circle four sets okay let's proceed okay so for this one we'll be using circle then offset this one by five type trim and then we'll mirror this one here and then mirror command okay next is type circle and then of course we don't have the center here so we can make use of the mid between two points so in getting the mid between two points you can make use of this one and then this one or this one and then this one okay so the either of the two same result and then again currently this is diameter so you'll have to type R for radius and then type the specified radius which is 30. Then offset this one by 5. And then trim command TR, enter. Select the lines, enter. And then here the circle will overlap. And then again circle here will underlap. And so on. 
Okay, so here, kamali tayo, ha? Huh? Just undo this one twice. So, we have to delete this, delete this one. Then, trip. Then, skip. Okay, so check the design. Meron tayong uh, mali dito. Then you can also check your template. So we'll now proceed with the uh, design number 4. For our design number 4, so it will look like this. Again, the radius of the circle here, if you are going to measure it with the use of your ruler, this is 30. Okay, so the diameter is 60, the radius is 30. Okay, and then it consists of one fourth circuit, four sets. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so for this one, we we'll use using circle. Then offset this one by five. Type trim. And then we'll mirror this one. Here, and then mirror command. Okay. Next is type circle, and then of course we don't have the center here, so we can make use of the mid between two points. So in getting the mid between two points, you can make use of this one, and then this one, or this one, and then this one. Okay. So the either of the two, same result. And then again, currently is the diameter. So, you'll have to type R for radius and then type the specified radius which is 30. Then, offset this one by 5. And then, trim command, TR, enter. Select the lines, enter. And then, here, the circle will overlap. And then, again, the circle here will underlap. And so on. Okay, so here, kamali tayo, ha? We'll just undo this one twice. So, we have to delete this, delete this one. Then, trim. Then, skip. Okay, so check the design. Meron tayong uh, mali dito. Then you can also check your template. So we'll now proceed with the design number 4. For our design number 4, so like this. As you can see in our template. Okay, so focus na natin. So for this one, we'll, we'll be starting with the circles. Huh? Yung 1 fourth circle. Patul dito. So, na natin to. so type C and then you can immediately trim this one and then offset this one by 5. Then mirror MI, enter, object, select object, enter, and then mirror line, situate na naka ko kayo para magawa nyo to, enter. Then the same mirror and then mirror line, enter. Okay. Next, we'll have this one. So this time we'll be needing half circles. So type C, and then PR. So this is the cutting edges. There's no need for you to select everything here. Kasi nga, pag sinelect nyo lahat ito using the crossing selection, ganyan nyo ha, you delete one by one instead of by deleting only once okay so trim isa lang ang select natin since natanggalin natin is to cutting edges enter then escape offset since nakaset ng pipe yan enter nyo na lang okay next is mirror again and then type circle again for us to create a half circle trim 
then I've set this one by 5 then again mirror okay the next thing to do is if you fillet muna natin to okay so type F so since AutoCAD remembers your previous command just enter D or spacebar ready and so there's no need for you to type again that uh, fillet so just have to enter since AutoCAD remembers your previous command next ano simula yung uh, overlap so I think here so let us check that sign yan tama ha? So what we are going to do here is to type trim, then we'll select the center, enter, so this will be over, then alternate the side. So tignan natin ito para may mali, no? kasi parang sila naka-over dito, so we'll check the design, tama naman, so tama naman kasi other detail then over, okay, then Go under sa dito. Overlap. Underlap. Overlap the sign. Okay? And then, para malaman nyo dito class, tingin nyo yung dito nyo. No? So, nakataas siya. So, nakailalim sa dito. Okay? Nakailalim sa dito. So, magiging taas sa dito. Nakataas siya. No? Next, the same. Underlap sa dito. So, mag-over sa dito. And then, naka-over siya. So, ibig sabihin, we have to delete this one. Okay? So, fit. Okay. Yan. So, escape. We'll now proceed with our fifth design. Okay? We'll now proceed with our fifth design. The distance is uh, consists of uh, all circles. Huh? So, let us first create this portion again. Let us maximize the AutoCAD software. And then, what we are going to do here is to type line. So, this line will be used for projection lines or guidelines. Okay? So, type C. I'll get the center of this one by using the MPP. Okay, and then perpendicular. We have set this one by 5. And then mirror, enter. Click the object, enter. Mirror line. Click, enter. So the same procedure. Type mirror, enter. Select the object to be mirrored, enter. Mirror line 1, mirror line 2. Okay, next. Okay, let us not, uh, delete this one. So, type circle. So, for this one, you'll be using radius 60. Okay, as you can see, it's automatically I center sa dito, but to make sure, we we'll just have to type R after type this circle, and then type 20. Okay, and then for us to make a center circle here, we'll offset this one by 2.5. Both sides. Set 0.5. For us to create a thickness of 5. And then let us delete this one. Okay. Then remove unnecessary lines. And then then natin dito yung overlap siya. So trim. Enter. So overlap to. Then Remove this one. So this will be underlap. This will be over. Okay. So that's it for our design number five. We'll now proceed with our design number 6. Alright, we'll now proceed with our design number 5. So as you can see here, yung tinitsura niya. 
It consists of a full circle and one fourth circle. So let us first create the circle here and MTP for us to get the center of the circle then set by 5 set 5 okay then let us check the design so for this one this will be the center and then this will be the radius so type C Then type C again. Then type D to him. Select this one. Then this one. Then you delete the circle outside. Okay. So same procedure. Type C. Enter. Radius. Then type C again. This is the center. And this is the radius. Then type or three rather okay. next is to offset this one by five then fillet this one same procedure with the other one set five then F okay next is Identifying the design, so the circle overlaps here. Okay, we'll select all the object using the trim. Type trim. Enter. Then let us check the design. So we'll start overlap here. So let us check it again. We'll delete this one. So it will underlap here. Then overlap here, underlap, then overlap here, underlap, overlap, and under. So alternating design lang yan, no? Next is, so nag over sa dito. So it will underlap here, then overlap here. So same here. Overlap. So, mag-underlap siya dito. Over. Then, mag-underlap siya dyan. Okay. So, that's it for our plate number 6. Plate number 6 rather. Plate number 4. So, for this one class, no, uh, before we close the object, see to it that you click Ctrl S. So, pag nag-Ctrl S tayo, kikita naman natin, no? Mas nakalagay dyan. Q save. So, alam natin, when you say Ctrl S, it means fixing. So, that's all for our plate number 4. See you on our plate number 5.